You're welcome to today's coding lesson. My name is Erin Bradley. I am a Gauteng Department of Education teacher at Brian Evan Primary School in South Africa. I would like to welcome our guest speaker, Andrew Wilson, presenting his second tutorial, sharing some of his knowledge in Scratch. Andrew is a very talented learner with a great enthusiasm for technology, careful and thoughtful in the way that he explains his Scratch programming. It's wonderful to just observe and to appreciate his knowledge. Thank you, Andrew, for today's lesson. Hello, everybody. I'm going to be continuing with my tutorial one. So this is tutorial two. Uh, we was making Maze 2.2. I also made other projects here, as you can see. But today we're going to carry on with Maze 2.2. So if you will please log in and take take a seat and log in. As you can see, this is the code that we have already. I'm going to go to backdrops. As you can see, it says backdrops over here. So I have this backdrop called words. Maze one, maze one. See, that's what it looks like. Maze 2. This is what it looks like on Maze 2. And I'm still busy with the... Well, I'm actually done with the maze on flowers over here. I need to make the block so if, if you are, like, touching it, then it will switch the backdrop to the next backdrop. I'm going to take this color as dark green. I first need to figure out where I'm going to put it. I'm going to put it over here. There. Now I'm done putting the green block over there. Now I'm going to go to the cat. I named it cat in the last uh, in the last episode. So now it says code over here. And now it's on backdrop. But now, now and then I'm on the sprite. And now it goes to costumes. See, I on maze one, I put purple. On maze two, I put red. On flowers, I put green. And also I'm putting a backdrop called school. I'm still going to make a maze on this backdrop. So as you can see, I put green over here. I'm going to go back to the code. I'm going to take out, I'm going to go to control. Take out an if something then statement into the code and put, put it in the code. Then take out the if touching color from the sensing. And I'm going to touch it. And as it so showed in the last episode, I'm going to go into this button over here. I'm going to go to the green block that I made over here. And then it see it shows green. Then I'm going to go to back. I'm going to go to looks. In looks it says switch back up to words. I don't want it to be words. I want it to be school. Like that. Now I'm going to go back to backdrops. Going to go down to school. Now you can you can copy and paste a maze on on this over here. But I'm going to draw one. I'm going to draw a maze. I don't want it to be 10. I don't want it to be 10. I want it to be 20. That's how thick and thin the, the color will be. So now I'm going to draw my maze. There. I'm going to take a bit of a while. 
I don't know if I'm going to take a bit of a while or a long time. Let's just see how long I take to draw the maze. And as I said in the last episode, a maze has lots of dead ends and it has a start and an end. So I'm going to draw dead ends and non-dead ends. Okay, so there. There, now I'm done. Now I need, and now I need to draw a block. But I don't want it to be filled. I want it to be outlined. There, and as you can see, it shows up on the backdrop over here. Okay, now we need to draw the end so it switches the backdrop to the next backdrop. So, I want it to be filled. I want it to be filled. I don't want it to be like that. I want it to be a different color than that. I'm going to make it pink. I'm going to put the block here. And I just realized that you can't get into this area. I'm going to go here. There, now I'm made a way in. Okay, now let's go back to the code. Here, now go back to control. Take an, out another if statement. Go to sensing. Take out an if. Put this in the block here. If touching color. I need change this to my color over here then switch the backdrop to next backdrop but i haven't got a next backdrop i need to add another one see i'm on school and that's the one that i'm on right now so i need to have a sixth backdrop And search for something else. I'm going to search for maze. Go to images. S choose a maze that you would like. Well, I just thought that maybe the color would not be the same. So I'm not going to do that instead. I'm going to draw a maze. So, go to choose a backdrop, but don't click on it. Go up to paint, and then you you'll see that it goes it change gets another backdrop for you. I'm gonna change this name to Maze Three, so I can't just call it Maze because I haven't Maze One and um, Maze two over here and now I have another maze so that's what I'm gonna call it there so I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna go up for the side of the paintbrush I'm gonna go up to 20 and now I'm gonna draw a maze you can draw it however you like. It doesn't matter how you draw it. Just as long as it looks like a maze. So I'm going to draw the maze for myself. And also, I just thought about saying this. You can also choose the size that you want the maze. See, I'm also going to leave out that bit of the maze over here. So I don't really want it to be so big. I'm just going to keep it like that size.
And so, if there's a dot, I can't get past it. It's just like a wall, but it's only a dot. So I'm gonna put a dot there and there. So that's how big the maze is gonna be. I'm going to go back down to the block. I'm going to choose a full foot and I'm going to go to this funny little color over here. There. I'm going to make it a bit lighter. Okay, a bit darker over here, like that. Uh, and now I need to choose where the block will be. I'm gonna make it, oops. There. It doesn't really look like a block. I'm just going to call it block because it looks like block over here. Now I'm going to go back to the code. This is the code so far. Now. It says here, if you can color pink, then switch back up to words. But you don't want it to go to words. Because that's up here. So we'll switch, we need to switch it to maze 3. Like that. Now you can see I put it in another color over here. Well there's going to be about 8 backdrops for this. So I'm going to go to if. Take out the if statement. Sensing. Touching color. I'm going to get the color from the backdrop. There. Now I'm going to go to looks. Switch backdrop to words. Don't want that again. So I need to get another backdrop. I'm going to go to backdrops. Go here. To paint. So now there's seven backdrops so far. I'm actually going to make nine backdrops. So I'm going to draw a maze on this one. This time I'm going to make it a bit of a different color. I'm going to make it that color. I'll show you how you do this later. How you put it in the code. So I'm going to draw it with this funny kind of red color. I'm actually going to first put in the block. Uh, I'm going to make it black. Oops. There. They made the block. Gonna go back to this color.
네. 그럼 make a few dead ends. 네. Now, uh, gonna make a few more dead ends. So that's what this mess is gonna look like. I'm going to make the block somewhere. I'm going to make this a different color first before I do anything. I want to make it this kind of orange color. I'm going to put the block over here. Okay, that's what the block block is gonna look like. So that's what it will look like. And now I'm gonna make another backdrop, but I'm gonna search for a black backdrop. I'm gonna go for this blue sky, I think. There. I'm gonna duplicate this one so that then there will be two of these. Like that. I'm gonna make a kind of Bio maze. First, gonna make the circle around it like that. Gonna make this bow on the inside. And I'm going to close it up like that. I'm going to make this color this turquoise color. Like that. There, now I'm going to go into block. Now I need to find that color again. There. So that's what the block will that's what the maze will look like. 
But as you can see, it's closed up, so you can't get through. But that's what the next maze. That's what the next backdrop of this will look will be for. So I actually need to delete that one. I need to duplicate it like this. So it would look the, like the same thing, like that. Basically it looks like the same thing. So now, on, on Blue Sky 2, I'm going to go onto Paintbrush, which I'm already on. Fill. I'm going to choose this, the sky around it, like that. And I'll do this to open up. But how will it change backdrop if there's nothing to switch the backdrop to next one on blue sky on blue sky one? So that's why on blue sky one I'm gonna make it kind of darkish color. Like that, that kind of dark blue. Like that. And I'm gonna make a block. Like that. See? has to cover up from this black line to this black line because if you get if you go on the other if you go on the other side like that and it was smaller then you and then it won't switch backdrop to this one so you can get through to the next level so that's what this blue block is for I'm gonna go back to the code Gotta take out an, another if statement. Gonna put it over there. Go to sensing. Take out the touching color. Then gonna put it here. Gonna find a color on the backdrop like that. Then switch backdrop to blue sky 2 oh, but I didn't see this I need to switch this this one to blue sky there Wait. Oh, I made a bit of a mistake. It isn't supposed to go to blue sky. It's supposed to go to backdrop one. But I need to change the name of backdrop one to maze. Oops, made a mistake. Maze. Four. Like that. Going to go back to the code for the cat. I'm going to take out another if statement. I need to put it in between. In between the switch back up to maze 3 thing and switch back up to maze 4 thing right now I meant something else sorry I meant to go underneath here go to the sensing pull out the touch and color go back go to looks take out the switch back up to Words one and then take and then put it as blue sky or if you have a different backdrop and then put it on that backdrop 
because every backdrop has a name. Or if you put it as, if you leave it as backdrop one, two, three, or four, or five, then it will stay backdrop one, two, three, four, or five. So there, and you change that, and you change the color. So I'm going to go to here. I'm going to go to the code again. I'm going to go to this one, this block over here. Find a color. Go onto this orange color. And that's how you do it. And then that's all. And that's all the code for now. We're going to carry on just now. I just need to think of something. And you go to backdrop. Backdrops. And you go to blue sky. So if touching color blue, then switch up to, to blue sky too. Like that. And then I need another backdrop. I'm gonna make this one. Hearts. Then I'm gonna draw a maze on this one, like, like all the others. Okay. I'm actually gonna trace it up, so I'm going to make this the size of the of the paintbrush to 15 and I'm going to outline the heart like that oops like that There, so now it looks like a heart, but it's a bit of a messy heart, as you can see. Well, I'm just going to basically draw lines everywhere to make a maze. Well, that's a big mistake. Gonna make a few dots there, like that. So that's gonna be the maze for hearts. I'm going to go back to the code. I'm going to take out an if statement. I'm going to go to sensing. I'm going to take out a touching color. I'm going to I'm going back to the code to the backdrop, sorry. and go back to the code because I want it to be on that so I can figure out the color. Like that. Then, gonna take out a switch backdrop to words block. I'm going to put it as hearts. 
there. Then I'm going to go two hearts to the hearts. One to the hearts backdrop, like that. And I need to take out a block. I need to choose the outline. Uh, I'm going to choose one of these colors. There. I'm going to choose that funny kind of color. I'm going to put... Whoa. I'm going to put the block over there. Like that. And Now I'm going to block off this area because you can see there's two ways of getting there. So now I'm going to do that to block off this way of getting there. there like that so now I think that will be the last last maze but now I need to go I need to get another backdrop paint get out this T which is tech which stands for text I'm going to change the color to black, like that. As you can see here, it says sans serif. I'm going to change that to curly. There, then I'm going to type in U, but take out an, a few enters. Gonna go with a space, gonna put the win all the w all the way over there. You win. I cut. Okay. So like that, and then I'm going to gonna draw a few stars. I'm gonna make them yellow. There. I'm gonna make a f lots of stars.
But yeah, that's how many stars I would like. I'm gonna go back to the code on the cat. I'm going to take out another if statement. Put it there. I'm going to send. I'm going to go to Sensen. Take out touching color. I'm going to find a color on the backdrop, like that. There. Then go to looks. Take out the switch backdrop to words block. Go down to backdrop one. I need to change the name of backdrop one. So I'm going to backdrops. I'm going to call this. Oops. I'm making a few mistakes. There, I'm gonna call it end. I'm gonna go into this arrow, select, called select. I'm gonna go enter. I'm not gonna make it curly like it says here. I'm going to make it like that. I'm gonna type in the end there now that's the end of all the backdrops that I made I'm going to go back to the code. That's all the code that we have since tutorial one. Like that. That's how many. That's how much. That's how many things we added into the code. But I'm going to show you something. As you can see, I changed the color of, of of the lines. As you can see here, it's now light, lightish red. And here it's black. So, I'm going to the code. I'm going to take out that. I'm going to put it in here. There. I'm going to take out another two if statements. There. I'm gonna go to sense in duplicate four of these put them in each if statement one if each if statement blocks Okay, I'm going to have to take out another if statement for the right hour because I didn't do it before. I'm going to put it there. Put another touching color block. I'm going to put the other two in the other if statements. I'm going to find a color. I'm 
for each and every one of these. So there, I put them all like that. As you can see, I put if touching color black, then change X by four. I'm gonna do the same for if touching color light red. So I'm gonna change it to four. As for the right arrow, I'm gonna take out another change X by 10. I'm going to put it in the if statement block and as you can see I put it if touching color black then change x by minus 4 so I'm going to change it to minus 4 just like change just for if touching color black but this time I'm going to do it y for the up arrow and the down arrow as I, told, as I told you in the last lesson. So it's also going to be minus 4. As it says here. Minus 4. And also for this one. Going to be 4. Like that. So that's what it look like. So if touching color light red. Then change Y by 4. For the up arrow and down arrow. And for the right arrow and the left arrow. It's if touching color light red. Then change X by minus 4. So I'm going to test out my code. And see if it works. I'm going to press the D. I'm going to try to get through the maze. Hmm, that's a bit of a problem. I need to go to the backdrops. I'm going to have to delete that and make another one. I'm going to make it black. Like that. I'm not going to make it too hard. Oh, first I need the block. there now I'm going to carry on drawing I'm just going to make a nice and easy maze there I fold it in with this bucket called full I'm going to go back to the paintbrush. I'm going to draw a bit more. There. That's a bit of a mistake. I didn't think it can fit through that. So there. Gonna move it there. So there. Now you go back to the code. Okay, now you go back 
to there. I've got a maze two code. For this one, I'm going to make the scratch card go there. I'm going back to backdrops. I'm going to switch to flowers. I don't want it to be there. I'm going to move it there. I'm going to take out the go to X and Y, put in there. I just don't know how all the time it adds another backdrop when I go onto it. Uh, so now I'm going back to, I'm going to school. I'm going to put the scratch cut over there. The same for this one. I'm going to put it where I would like it to be. Which will be there. So there, I'm going to put another one of those in there. I'm going to go back to backdrops. Not maze two. Maze four. I'm going to put another one in there. I'm going back. I will go back to the backdrops. So then I can go to blue sky. I'm going to make it, the scratch cat end up over there. Okay, put another one in there. I still have blue sky two, heart and in to go. But for when it switches to back to end, I need to go to looks. Actually, I need to go down. I want to go to delete this clone. I wonder what happened. I'm actually not going to go that like that. I'm going to do hide. Like that. I'm going back to backdrops. And you got your hearts. And you got your 
code. I am going to move the scratch cat there. And that's the last one I need to do. So thank you for watching Tutorial 2. As you can see up here, it says See Project Page. If you want to see Project Page, click on it. There. So it says Instructions. Tell people how to use the projects, such as which keys to press. How did you make this project? Did you use ideas? scripts or artwork from other people thank them here and uh, below the project it shows hearts how many loves people how many loves people loved it how many favorites people love favorite it this is this one's view I uh, this how many remixes it had so i'm going i'm actually going to go back to the code and thank you for watching tutorial 2. This is my last tutorial. And if you would like to know more, you can watch more of my videos.